So my three biggest tips for staying productive or being productive at home. Okay, so I understand that, you know, it's it's summer now and if you're in uni or if you're in college or school, anything like that, they've just broken up, you know, it's summer, all that lot. And I know that, you know, if you're watching this video, then you're motivated, you do want to get work done in the summer. You know, maybe you want to start that entrepreneurial venture you've been thinking about all school year. And, you know, now you've finally got the time to do it, but you're struggling to stay, you know, motivated and productive. Uh, not, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I have the same thing. I struggle with it quite a bit because more often than not, I am just in my room getting work done. You know, I've actually got an agreement with um, an office in Horn, the town where I live, that I can sit there a few days a week. But, you know, even there, like, I, I've got to, you know, I've got to be honest, I'm more productive there than I am here. But it's sometimes I think, no, I don't want to walk all the way there, go all the way there. You know, I just want to get work done, uh, you know, by my desk, stuff like that. You know, it, maybe if I want to do YouTube videos as well on the same day, then it's just better for me to stay here. So anyway, guys, my three biggest tips for, for if you're in this situation is number one, set, you know, get up at the same time every single day. You know, set an alarm for the same time every single day, even though it's summer, even though you don't have to, you've got no stuff outside the house that you need to get up for. Just set an alarm, get yourself into that routine, you know, time-wise, because it will help. You know, if you're constantly getting up at seven o'clock or constantly getting up at six o'clock, you know, whatever time that is for you, whatever time you're most productive, then just get up at the same time every single day. And once seven o'clock arrives, you know, you're up, you're ready, you know that you're gonna be in work mode in the next half an hour. And it, it just really, really helps. Um, I try and get up at half six every single day. On weekdays of a weekend, I get up at between seven and eight, mostly towards eight o'clock, gotta admit. But because I'm up at half six every single day, uh, like between half seven and eight, I know I'm gonna be in work mode. And from that moment onwards, it's just so much easier to get in the zone because I know I'm doing this every single day. You sort of get a little streak going, and you know, like, you know, you don't wanna break the streak so you stay productive and you stay in that zone. Tip number two is to actually get dressed. And that is such a weird little technique or trick, but it really does help. So when I uh, first quit my job at the gym, uh, I literally did not need to leave the house and I stayed in like uh, pajama mode all day. You know, I had jogging bottoms on, a jumper on, didn't do my hair, didn't brush my teeth or anything like that, unless I was going out, obviously. But I just stayed in like sloth mode, you know, working maybe on a computer because there was no one else that could see me. Even most of the Skype conversations and meetings at the time were all through audio. So, you know, but in the end, like I noticed that I, I, I wasn't productive anymore because I was in like lounge mode, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I used to get up, uh, if I wasn't going for a morning walk, I used to get up in my jogging, you know, put my jogging uh, tracky on or jogging bottom and jumper and I'd get by my computer and you know, I would stay in that like sort of uh, relaxed, chill Netflix mode. But now what I do is I get a shower, get dressed as if I'm going to go out, you know, I put clothes on, I even put trainees on. Guys, that is scientifically proven that if you wear shoes, trainees, whatever, while studying, you're more productive because it feels like you're in a sort of like office or environment where you know you need to get work done rather than you know relaxing slippers and jogging bottoms and stuff like that. So get dressed, guys. It really does help. Try it out for yourself. And my last tip is to use the Pomodoro technique. For you guys that do not know what it is, basically what you do is you do work for 25 minutes, followed by five minutes of forced rest. Like that was a thing that I struggled with as, as well. Um, you know, 20, after 25 minutes, I'm finally in the zone and then I need to take five minutes off. I didn't want to, but it does work if you keep this up in the long run. So 25 minutes of work, five minutes of rest, then you do that three times, so 25, five, 25, five, 25, five, and then you have half an hour's rest. And that's like your big rest period, you know, where you go out, go for a walk, or just get outside of the room. And you know, if you do this, it's so much easier to stay productive because in those 25 minutes, you put your phone away, flight mode, night mode, whatever. You know, you, you, you get rid of all your distractions and you just do 25 minutes of work. And sometimes like after 15 minutes, you're like, okay, I finished a task and normally I'd watch like a YouTube video now or something like that, but you've still got 10 minutes left. You know, you find little bits of extra stuff to do within those within that 25 minute period, just to get it done, just to tick it off. And then once the 25 minutes are up, then you've got a little five minute break. And it's just a really great way of taking off everything off your to-do list, getting it all done, and not you know, without like, having like, a burnout or anything like that because you've got the breaks in between. All right guys, those are all the productivity tips I've got for you guys today. Like this video if you've got something out of it. Comment down below what type of video you want to see from my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Gotta do what I gotta do.